Geeks, Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Once again, taking a look at Unlocker, except this time we have Unlocker Portable. This allows you to avoid the ad supported version here, which tries to install the Delta Toolbar, even though we marked it as ad supported. We did a video on it to show you how to avoid it, and we have limitations explaining exactly how to get around it. Still, at 13,600,000 downloads, it's a very popular program because it's very good, so most people will find unchecking that Delta Toolbar is worth the hassle. Not anymore. Now we're portable. Click any of these locations. Heck, you can click the word download locations. Click here, click here, anything right here. It's animated so you can spot it. And when you download it, you will have this. Double click it. Anybody who is used to using WinRAR, PZIP, 7-Zip, you don't need our help here. Everybody else, click Extract All. When you do, you can either show them when you're done or not. In other words, it'll open another explorer. So I usually uncheck it, but for now we can extract it. And while extracting, you could actually close the file explorer you have open because it's going to open another window. Double click it. And here is your executable inside the folder. Double click unlocker portable. And this will allow you to delete rename or move a lock folder. Now in our case this is going to go really really fast because we're going to use a test folder for this video that isn't locked and we'll give you a little couple of pointers too. So let's head to my desktop which is where I got it. Uh, where did I put it here? Major Geeks. Nope, not download. Desktops. Now the neat thing here is it'll automatically expand folders. So if you knew you had five, six, seven, who knows, subfolders here and you knew one particular folder was one you couldn't get rid of, you could actually just click on that one folder. But for the purpose of this video, we will click that, the root. Now you're going to click OK, and you'll always get the same window will pop up. This one, no locking handle found. A couple of things are going to happen here. It's going to tell you I deleted it fine, and the reason I pause here is I just deleted MSMG Toolkit folder. It was 24 gigs. When I did, it actually said it had some sort of problem deleting. I don't remember the exact error message. If you get it, you'll know. Something about having trouble deleting something. Would you like to remove the files on the next reboot? Perfect. I said yes. It closed, and somehow the folder was gone. If that doesn't happen for you, please go ahead and reboot. So you're going to get one of those two things to happen. Now, here's your drop down. You want to delete it, rename it, or move it. Pick one of those. Almost all of us are here to get rid of something, so let's go on and delete. And again, remembering it's a very small folder, it's going to be fast. If you've got 20 gigs in there, it's going to take five minutes. If you've got anything less, you know, half a gig, a couple of megs, it'll be almost instant. Click OK. And there is your yay, it worked out. Let's take a look. And it's gone, right? Desktop, yeah, it was right here. As you can see, it's gone. But a nice thing to know is if for some reason you change your mind or, as I showed you, there was a subfolder here, you can always get it back by heading over to your recycle bin. Easy enough. So once again, one of the big reasons this video is because the program's easy to use is to try and draw some attention to the portable version away from this because, again, if you're... If you download it, malware bytes and most antiviruses are going to flag it. It's just been out there for so long. As you can see, it's 2013. It just, it's a gone. It doesn't get updated anymore. So after six, seven years, it's pretty well known that this has the Delta toolbar in it, which nobody wants. So I will put a link to the portable version inside. And while you're here, I just want to remind you, we have a few of these on Major Geeks. We hate, hate, hate to do it, but simple fact of the matter is, a program like this should not not be listed because you can uncheck the Delta toolbar. It's just it's so good we got to have it. If you click this Add Supported, it'll take you to a page that will have a couple of videos on how we test things and how to avoid this type of thing, and an explanation of what Add Supported is. If it is freemium or shareware, it will be in red. You will not hardly find it. I can think of oh yeah, advertisement. We try and point out this is an advertisement, so we try to use red 
when there's something we want to draw your attention to. So if you scroll down on add supported shareware or freemium, you'll get down to the limitations. As you can see, we explain to you to uncheck it. And we also explain to you that at 30 seconds in the above video, we show you how to do it. So let's take a quick look here. And there you go. So we do anything we can to help you avoid this. And this is one of those situations. Get the portable version and you'll be all set. Finally, I feel like resetting the view on File Explorer. As you know, in my case, maybe you as well, you saved it to Downloads. See, it says File Folder. That says Compress Zip. So if you want to get this off your machine, just click Delete. And that's it. No uninstall, no Go into apps and control panel to remove it, it's gone. Now what you can do as well is take this program for next time and put it away somewhere. Put it on your backup drive or come back to Major Geeks, we like that idea. Hey, that's it. Uh, the little Major Geeks logo should be way over here in the corner clicking around. Feel free to click that to subscribe. We'd love a like or two. And we thank you all for watching. We appreciate all the new likes and subscribes. It's been great lately. And thanks again for watching and hopefully we will see you next time.